The following video will show you how to perform topology optimization and clone the topology over multiple design regions in the same model by using Genesis Structural Optimization for Vansys Mechanical or GSAM. This video is intended to Genesis Topology Optimization for Vansys Mechanical or GTAM users as well. In this video, first I will set up the topology optimization for one region and then clone it onto other regions to obtain the similar topology. Next I will set up the cloning with the scaling factor to replicate the topology even when the design spaces are different. And finally I will compare the topology results obtained. Let's start with an example. The objective for this problem is to minimize the strain energy of the structure satisfying the mass fraction constraint. Open the ANSYS workbench. A static structural solution has already been set up in ANSYS workbench. Now open the ANSYS mechanical to visualize the model. A force of 1000 Newton is applied in positive x direction. The structure is fixed at the bottom. I will set up the topology optimization for the selected body and clone it onto other bodies to obtain a similar pattern. Now go back to ANSYS workbench. Now I will bring the Genesis extension into our workbench simulation so that it shares the existing model information. Open the ANSYS mechanical. Make sure that Genesis node shows up in the project tree. In the analysis settings under Genesis, Change the maximum optimization cycles to 25. I have already created local coordinate systems which will be used as reference coordinate systems for the clone regions. The origin of each coordinate system is located at the corner of each body and the XYZ axis has the same orientation as that of the global coordinate system. Now add a topology regions node. For design regions type, keep the default selection independently designed. Select the geometry for the topology region. For the initial mass fraction, enter 0.3. For size control, select yes. Enter the minimum member size as 2.5 mm. For spread fraction, enter 0.5. Here we have defined an independently designed topology region. Next, we will define the clone topology regions. From the Genesis Structural Optimization toolbar, add Topology Regions node. Select the second Topology Regions node. For Design Region type, select Clone Other Region. For Design Region definition, select the body. For parent region definition, select the body which is independently designed. For the clone reference coordinate system, select the coordinate system whose origin is located at the corner of the body which is selected as design region body. Select the global coordinate system as the parent reference coordinate system. For the parent reference coordinate system, I am selecting the global coordinate system as in this case its origin is located at the corner of the parent body. Otherwise, I will need to create another coordinate system whose origin is located at the corner of the parent body. When viewed with clone reference system, the topology design of the clone body will match with that in the parent region viewed with respect to the parent reference coordinate system. Keep the default scale parameters. Similarly, we will define the clone topology regions for the other four bodies.
Now we will define the objective and constraint. From the Genesis Structural Optimization Toolbar, add the Objective node. Select Strain Energy as the response type. For Load Case Selection, select the Load Case to Design by selecting Yes. For the goal, make sure that Minimization is selected. Now the next step is to define the constraint. Now add a constraint node. For the response type, select Topology Mass Fraction. Enter the upper bound as 0.3. Now from the Genesis Structural Optimization Toolbar, add Topology Density Plot and Topology Density Isosurface Plot. Now right click on Genesis and push Solve. This will take some time, so I will skip the solve time. Now click on Solution Information node. Scroll down to check Design Cycle History. The total number of iterations are 19. Here you can see that the strain energy is approximately reduced by 80%. Now click on Topology Density Isosurface Plot. You can see that the clone bodies do have exact identical topology as that of the parent body for the design spaces that are common. Another option in cloning is to apply scale factor. Scale factors are used to scale the clone region along the given axis. By default, scale factor is 1. A scale factor less than 1 will cause the topology design in a clone region smaller than in the parent region. For this problem, as the clone bodies are smaller than the parent body, we will use the scale factor less than 1. Now go back to project schematic window and add another Genesis system by dragging the Genesis extension and dropping it on the model cell of existing Genesis system. Now open the ANSYS mechanical. Copy all the Topology Region nodes, Objective node and Constraint node from the first Genesis system and paste them to the second Genesis system. Now in the Analysis settings under Second Genesis system, change the maximum optimization cycles to 25. Now select the third topology regions node and change the Y scale factor to 0.75. Select the fourth topology regions node and change the Y scale factor to 0.75. Similarly, for the fifth and sixth topology regions node, change the Y scale factor to 0.5. Now from the Genesis Structural Optimization Toolbar, add Topology Density Plot and Topology Density Isosurface Plot. Now right click on the Genesis node and push Solve. This will take some time, so I will skip the solve time. Now click on Topology Density Isosurface Plot. As you can see that all the bodies have exactly identical topology but with a different scale. In the first case that is topology cloning without scaling factor because of different design spaces of the parent and clone bodies, only the common part of the topology of the parent body is cloned onto the clone bodies. In the second case, that is topology cloning with the application of scaling factor, exactly identical topology is obtained on the clone bodies at a smaller scale. This completes the demo. I hope that it has helped you to get familiar with the implementation of topology optimization with cloning in GSAM and GTAM. The similar example is available in the GSAM example manual. If you would like to learn more, I invite you to check other videos about GSAM. For more information, please visit our website at www.vrand.com or email us at gsam.support at vrand.com. Thanks for watching.